All right, y'all, what's up with this big boss? I have to tell y'all about a fragrance I just reviewed recently that came out this year, okay, that I feel like is going to be, no lie, the best fragrance that dropped all year. I think I figured it out. I think I found it. You can't trick me. I see it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? And we are talking about a fragrance that a lot of y'all was probably just hyped for. And then when y'all heard the reviews, y'all probably took a back seat and was like, Mwah. can y'all guess? Can y'all guess the scent that was like, everybody was like, oh, it's cool, but it's not bad. It was like, it was like ah, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Which made you didn't grab it. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. This video ain't about to be all day. I'm about to just tell y'all stories on how this became number one. Okay, when I first got it, I had both. I had the I had the Noir Extreme, and I had the Extreme Parfum. Every girl I let smell this one said they liked it more. And then another girl, I said, uh, uh, I put her on the verses, and she said she liked the Extreme more. So I'm big, I was just big like, okay, it's like 50-50. So I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I'm just gonna just go with the flow. But my dude D picked this up as well. He had him a bottle, okay? He told me every time he went out, because he has a gym, ladies be at the gym, so they be like, oh my God, D, you smell so good. You know what I'm saying? He was telling me that he was getting so many compliments with this. And I was just like in my head, like, you know, I believe him, but you know what I'm saying? I wasn't there, so I, it wasn't, um, I, I didn't have no emotion attached to it. It was just a story. It was just like, uh, okay, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that was that. Okay, so I took that in. I'm listening. I'm like, okay, great, bro. I'm glad you uh, found a nice fragrance, but I had it too. So let me tell you what happened yesterday. So my dude went to go get some Jordans. He don't even like Jordans, but he went to go get some Jordans at the store called Hilbert. And then he also went to DTLR, that used to be Villa, okay? These shoe stores. He went up in there. I'm talking about, I was with him. And I'm talking about this dude was walking and like this fragrance was projecting off of him. I, I gave him like five, I couldn't stop talking about it. I gave him like five compliments. I'm like, bro, I was just laughing. Like, bro, this is irritating. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you, you smell. Like, it's to the point where he smelled too good to be in a shoe store. Like, don't spray this on and walk through a shoe store, bro. It's not irritating. We're trying to focus on shoes and you just smelling good, bro. Like, leave. You know what I mean? Like, he smelled incredible. And I was so happy that I have the fragrance too. I'm like, shit, I'm about to smell incredible too. Fuck the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was wearing it during the daytime. So I feel like this hits hard. Hard, hard, hard. This lasts a long time, and you are getting a lot of compliments. I'm talking about women was like, so he had told me this other story we had went to Detroit, you know what I'm saying, with his friend, and he said he was at this restaurant, and ladies in there was like, I don't know where it's coming from, but somebody smelled real good. And he said he had this song too, like, bro, like, this is the game changer. This is the game changer, y'all. Y'all know I always talked about Dior Sauvage and Paco 1 Million Parfum being the heavy hitters. This is up there with them, okay? I don't know which one is better, but this baby right here is on par with 1 Million Parfum and Dior Sauvage Elixir. Time for did they thing. Don't pass this up. Save your money. $230, spin it, get it, grab it, wear a condom. That's all I can say. I'm Big Boss. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know y'all stories about it. I know I ain't the only one, okay? Talk to y'all later. Bitch, I'm Big Boss. I'm a threat. Bitch, nigga, pipe down for our flex. I'ma put a whole lot of money on your dreads Like a bowling ball, I put a hole in your head Shit that you rap in your songs, I'll be live